so you said that you feel lost a lot but obviously you're not staying lost you're also somehow finding your way then into action into creativity so how is it like to feel lost and then find that way forward in your way maybe that's why i write walter because i'm trying to find an explanation or find a way for something something that that bothers me that wounds me or that i have been obsessed with all my life because i i, I see that in the 20 books i've written and 30 years of writing the themes sort of repeat themselves in different shapes you won't even recognize them but i know that the themes are always there the, the justice is one of the themes that always appears um, freedom that is not the the freedom of the flag and the patriotic stuff it's the inner freedom choice the, the freedom to choose what you want to do with your life Love is always there, all forms of love and losses that go from the loss of your innocence to the loss of your life and the loss of your country and the loss of love and the loss of people who die. So those themes keep coming back always. Uh, so when I say that I'm lost, it's because often I'm confused. I don't know what the heck is going on. I don't know where I am, what I can do. Suddenly, all the all the horrors around me sort of come together, and I feel lost. And then I start writing. And in the writing, in the writing process, something happens. In in choosing the words in which you are going to define reality, you find your way. And I always remember that when we first started working together, you would say, "What do you feel?" And it's very hard to define a feeling. How do you put an adjective to a feeling? And you would say, what color is it? What texture is it? Define it. Because when you give it a word, when you, when you define it with language, it becomes real. And it becomes, you, you embrace it, you own it. And I think that that's what, I, what happens with me when I write. And that's why writing is so important. I start with a question. I start with something that is, um, that is painful. And in the process of defining it, refining it, changing an adjective, changing the tone, I read a paragraph aloud and it's gray. I don't like it. It's gray. It's not what I wanted to say. It doesn't convey the feeling. So I pick up three or four adjectives and I change them. And the whole paragraph changes. And if I had time, I could give you several examples in which you change four words and the feeling and the meaning changes. And so I, I think that through the writing I find my answers, I find my way, my little roads, um, and I find myself also, who I am. I mean, you could say, I am changing words, you know, it's like your active participation, of course, but it also sounds like you are, like in the inquiry process also, you are listening ever more closely to what you're describing, whether it's a situation yeah. or a feeling. And it is actually that close contact with the actual reality, the living reality of that feeling or that situation that then brings forth a word. And because that word is precisely um, describing and emerging from that experience, it kind of opens up. It opens up. Exactly. It opens up and it, it helps me find the way. Find, find the story, the real essence of the story, without imposing my truth on the story or my beliefs on the story. But it also allows me to get in the story and be part of it. Uh, when, when I really feel each word, I, f I am the story. And when I do any inner work, it's the same. By defining it in, in, in words, I feel it more deeply, I understand it more deeply. And then I see how it starts to change. And, and a feeling that could have been of oppression, for example, that I often feel. I often feel like, like I can't breathe. And a hand here, I can't breathe. And then as, as I explore it, as I define it, as I 
call it names, it starts to open up, open up and change into something different. On our website globalleadership.tv, you will find additional footage, other dialogues with innovation leaders from around the world, and also the hands-on practices that help them and their organizations to move from inspiration to real change.